Washington Journal continues. We want to welcome Governor Tom Ridge. Tom Ridge spent 12 years in the House of Representatives from Northwest Pennsylvania. That includes Erie and Sharon, Pennsylvania, former governor of Pennsylvania, the first secretary of Homeland Security. Um, it was declared a terrorist organization under the Clinton administration uh, with then perhaps misguided but hopeful uh, intent that uh, it would mean that the Iranian government uh, might be more conciliatory uh, in its discussions with us. Uh, these uh, individuals are now in a place called Camp Ashraf um, and uh, they surrendered their weapons. Uh, they were being protected uh, by the American military and that protection has been turned over to al-Maliki and the forces in Iraq. Uh, what you should also know is that uh, uh, the EU with a uh, several well-respected jurists took a look at this organization and said they do not deserve to be considered a terrorist organization. The United Kingdom did the same thing. There was a circuit court here in the United States that suggested that they do not belong, they should uh, not be treated as a foreign terrorist organization. And right now that designation is before Secretary Clinton. It's ironic, this is a group of uh, men and women who have uh, fought for uh, democracy in Iran for uh, many, many years. Uh, when I visited Paris, sir, I also spent some time with some older Iranian women who showed me pictures of husbands and sons and daughters who had been imprisoned, uh, tortured, and then murdered. There's been thousands and thousands of those instances in that regime. And uh, obviously, we look very carefully at our public advocacy uh, for the delisting of MEK. We are quite comfortable. We are certainly within our uh, uh, within the limits of the law, and will continue to aggressively pursue the uh, uh, the delisting. These men and women want to uh, voice their opposition to Ahmadinejad, and for some reason, we somehow think that keeping them listed as a foreign terrorist organization improves our chances to negotiate with Iran. They look with impunity at the United Nations uh, with human rights resolutions. They look with impunity at the United Nations and the U.S. when it comes to uh, the negotiations on uh, their nuclear uh, arming. And so let's face it, uh, one of the least, the least we could uh, free up people who want to uh, take their opposition and their support of democracy to the streets.